hello friends welcome to this video and in today's video we'll be seeing the problem finding the position of the rightmost set bit in the binary representation of a given number n and we will see solving this problem using four techniques one is using the two's complement and the and operator other is using zor and the and operations now these two methods share the similar idea and the third and fourth technique which is using the left shift and the right shift operator they have the same idea of solving the problem now before going into the details of the individual method we will first look at the problem statement and understand it so here is my example 6 i have taken this number 6 as my example and this binary representation is 110 now i am indicating the position starting from 1 of this binary representation instead of 0 i am starting it from 1 so the rightmost set bit if you observe in this binary representation of 6 is at the position 2 so in the output i need to return 2 as the final value but how to know what is the position of this rightmost set bit is what our algorithm will find out so first let's look at the first method that is using the tools complement and the and operator now using the tools complement and the and operator and the second technique which we are going to see using the zor operation and the and operator the idea is the same that is to preserve the rightmost set bit 1 so here is our number 6 and to this number we apply some binary operations and we get this resulting output in which you can see all the bits are set to 0 except the rightmost set bit and then we take the log base 2 of this particular number and then we add a 1 to it to finally print out our rightmost set bit value so if you see this is my number 6 and uh, this representation in the base 10 form will be having the value 2 and when I take the log of that particular number I will be getting my result as 1 and on adding 1 to this particular one my final output will be 2 which is nothing but the rightmost set bit in this number because the index I told you I am considering it from 1 starting from 1 so this is the second position which is my final output so this is the idea so we need to obtain this particular output from the given number n so for that we need to do some binary operations in between so that is what we are going to see two different ways of obtaining this format from the given number original number n so the first method is the two's complement and the and operator so in the two's complement and the and operator you take the original number n and then you take the two's complement of the number n which is nothing but minus n then you will get for example if you take 6 you will get the two's complement as this remember two's complement is one is one added to the one's complement and one's complement is flipping the bits in the original number that is one is set to 0 and 0 is set to 1 so this is the two's complement of 6 that is uh, in base 10 it is 2 now then we do the AND operation between the original number n and minus n that is so this is n and this is minus n so we do the AND operation between these two numbers and we get our format that is this one where we have the rightmost set bit only available and rest of the bits are set to 0 so you can see on doing the AND operation uh, AND operation only results in a 1 when we both when we have both the bits set to 1 so here is the final result of the AND operation between n and minus n so here if you notice the rightmost set bit information is saved and rest of the bits are wiped or uh, they are set to 0 now here this this value when we take the log base 2 of this particular value no this value is in binary so in base 10 it is 2 so that's why I have taken here 2 so if I take log base 2 of I will get the final value as 1 and if you add 1 to it I will get the rightmost set bit that is this particular bit so finally using the log base 2 of n and minus n plus 1 we get our position of the rightmost set bit so here is the and table just for the reference now one note over here is if you don't have log base 2 function available in your programming language you can use the following base change formula this is the base change formula so in java i have log base 10 
so what I do is to find log base 2 of n I simply write log base 10 of n by log base 10 of 2 because I don't have the log base 2 function in Java so you can use the base change formula if your programming language doesn't have the direct support for log base 2 so the second method is using the ZOR and the AND operation and here you can see the ZOR operation table we have the bit set to 1 only when both the bits are different or else the bit is set to 0 now using the ZOR operator to obtain this format which we have seen in our previous uh, method as well that is using the 2's complement and the AND uh, operator so here is my original number n here is the number which is 1 less than the n and if I do the AND operation between n and n minus 1, I get the result which is uh, consisting of a 0 in the rightmost bit position. So you do the AND operation, then it will have a 0 in the rightmost bit position. And then if you do the ZOR operation between the original number and this result, since both the bits are different, you will always result in a 1. And the rest of the bits will be automatically set to 0 because both the bits you can you can see both the bits in the result and this one are the same except the rightmost set bit one so that is how we get the format wherein we have uh, the rightmost set bit uh, information saved and the other bits are set to zero this is using the ZOR technique and the rest of the process is similar to the previous method the same as the previous method that is we take log of that result obtained and we add a 1 to it except here the operation now will be n or n and n minus 1 so this will be the operation in the second method instead of this particular n and minus n this is the operation which we need to do in the ZOR method the third method is using the left shift operator now here the idea is very simple we do the AND operation we take a mask value which is 1 and we do the AND operation between the number n and the mask itself till we find the result as a non-zero number till then we keep on doing the iterations and we track the number of iterations in a variable and the result is nothing but the tracked value of the loop iterations we have done till we obtain the result as non-zero so let us see the same example 6 so here I have my original number the mask is 1 the idea is to left shift uh, this mask value until I do an AND operation between the rightmost set bit 1 and this one so one, on the very first time I will get a 0 as my result because uh, the AND operation uh, needs to have the same 1 values in order to output the result as 1 so the result is 0 so do a left shift of the mask and we get this one 0 1 0 since the result is 0 continue my iteration of the loop and I left shift the mask value by 1 so this is the result which I get and I again do an AND operation between uh, the number n and uh, this particular shifted mask and then I will finally get whatever the format which I am expecting that is the rightmost set bit 1 information is saved and rest of the bits are wiped away because of the AND operation so how many iterations we have done so far so this is our first iteration and this is our second iteration so yeah so that is my answer so 2 iterations so 2 is my final result so that is about the using the left shift operator and finding out the rightmost set bit position now let's look at the fourth method also which is similar to the third method except now now let's look at the fourth method now the fourth method is using the right shift operator now idea here still remains the same as the previous uh, example and here instead of uh, shifting the mask we are shifting the original number itself and we are doing the right shift of the original number instead of the left shift and we do the similar kind of loop iteration and then we track the iterations and then we return the result as the number of uh, iterations uh, done so far till we obtain a non zero result of the AND operation between the number and the mask so here is my number 6 this is my mask 1 same mask we are using on the very first time we get a value of 0 now so the, because of that I shift my number now 
by 1 I do a right shift of my number so I get this value this is my updated n and I will do an again uh, and operation now here you can see these two ones will give rise to a non-zero number and I will end my iteration and then I will return the result as the number of iterations of the loop which is 2 this is the first iteration and this is the second iteration so 2 is my final answer that is the fourth technique as well now let's look at the code for all these methods so here is my main method and I am taking the same example that is 6 so let's see the first method using 2's complement and the AND operator the result is obtained in a single line statement you take the log of n and minus n the base 2 then add 1 to the final output which will give you the rightmost set bit in your binary representation of n. I have used my customized log function. You can use the existing Java library function as well. Since I didn't had the log base 2 function, I have written my own. Or else you can use the existing log 10 library function by applying the base change formula, which is this one. In this way, you can use the existing Java library function as well. Using the ZOR and the AND operation also it's a single line statement except we have the expression in the log function changed to this one and rest everything is the same as the previous uh, complement and AND operator method. The time complexity of both this method depends upon the logarithm function used and that is nothing but uh, in my case since I have written a customized log function it takes uh, log n to the base 2 time complexity we go of log n to the base 2. Now let's move on to the third method using the left shift operator method. So I have taken the mask 1 and this is the position which will be the, my final output value as well. I have initialized with the value 1 and I'll do the AND operation between uh, the number n and the mask itself till the number is equal to equal to 0. It means until I get a non-zero number I will keep on doing the while loop iterations and then in the while loop I will shift my mask uh, I will do a left shift of my mask by 1 and then I will increment the position to keep track of the number of iteration and finally when I exit this loop I will have my rightmost set bit position in this particular variable itself and using the right shift operator also it is the similar thing the whole logic also it's almost similar to the previous one except here I do except this is the change in the operation wherein I do the right shift of the number n itself and in the previous one the previous method i do the left shift of the mask and in the right shift operator method i do the right shift operation of the number itself by one and rest everything else is the same the time complexity of both of this method is big o of n where n is the number of bits in the binary representation of x or the number n And the auxiliary space complexity is we don't require any extra space so it's big of one and the auxiliary space complexity in the previous two methods that is two's complement and the ZOR operator method is uh, depends upon the logarithm function we use in my case i didn't use any extra space so it is big of one and finally i'm printing out my results using each operation so result one is for two's complement and and operator result two is for ZOR and the and operator using the left shift operator the position uh, is nothing but our result using the right shift uh, operator the position is nothing but our result so let's uh, see the output so all the results are the same for the number six and try out it with the different numbers that's all for this video thanks for watching